hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video we're gonna talk about rihanna facing backlash for paying tribute to Ye at the super bowl now guys we thought rihanna was paying tribute to Ye, but she wasn't as a matter of fact she was paying homage to andre leon tully who is a fashion extraordinaire that has passed I believe it was last year that he passed. Now, Andre Lee and Tali is from the LGBTQ community. He has dedicated his entire life to the fashion industry and he did it in a fine and fabulous style, but they did not give him the respect and the accolades that he deserved. As a matter of fact, the moment when he passed, it is said that he actually passed away with nothing to his name, allegedly. Now, this is a man who has helped Rihanna tap into her fashion side. And as such, Riri decided that she was gonna pay homage to him. So if you remember that red coat that Rihanna was wearing while she was on the floating stage, that was homage to Andre Leontali. It was also a part of the crew for Tyra Banks, America's Next Top model but rihanna is facing major backlash because they have this label that they want to give yay that is not sticking every time yay is being mentioned for something great we have the adl and the jewish mafia that comes out and basically try to public publicly lynch this man and they're now saying that rihanna's handlers need to sit down and have a tough discussion with her because if they don't then she will face repercussions like what the mother like what the heck it is black history month what you did is to say something that many people find offensive but he did not commit a crime he did not shoot up a school he did not shoot up a church and this is where these people need to understand and realize that what ye have done yes while it was distasteful to a, to a lot of people it did not hold anyone at, at gunpoint and take away anything from them not just that this man is minding his own business he has already apologized and is keeping it moving but i realized that for the adl and some jewish people what ye does is never enough and rihanna singing a song that is hers that was written for her um is now making people uncomfortable so much to the point as though they want to erase black history they want to disrespect a woman that performed at the super bowl while heavily pregnant they want to discredit rihanna's hard work and that is very disgusting it is very distasteful and very disgusting of them to do this and talk about this woman having handlers as though she's an object she's not a human being and this is why if people do not stand up against these fallacious attempts against Ye and what is being secretly being clocked up on Rihanna, we will never know what it is like to be truly free, even though it's February, it's Black History Month. If we don't put our foot down, people are going to see this as a prelude to take things even further because we have people who have done far more damage than well ye hasn't done any damage let's be realistic he was offensive but he did not cause or did any physical damage there are people who have done physical damage who have been able to go about their business unbothered while this black man is constantly being put on a stake it's as though they want to crucify this man they want to delete him and now they're putting rihanna in the midst it's definitely unacceptable it's rihanna's song and you cannot tell a woman not to perform her song because it was written by ye people need to you know grow up grow up and just let people live their life let people be and that's all i want to put out there and share with you guys thanks for your time stay safe stay blessed see you all 
next time. Bye guys.